With your host, Nix Muse. Lycanthrop Thrift Hall. Hi everybody. Today you get a very sleepy and very raspy Nyx Muse. Uh, today's episode is technically a Lycanthrop thrift haul. However, this is a special episode uh, wherein I'm going to do an unboxing video from a friend of mine. This friend is somebody on Instagram who runs an Etsy shop and they sent me a box and I have held off on even opening it so that I could open it on camera with you. It's very big. Okay, so this is the box um, from my friend. The Instagram handle as well as their Etsy shop will be listed below. And then photos of all of the items that were in the box will also be posted on my Instagram. Happy spring! Happy spring! <sighs> now I knew that this one thing was going to be in here. And I'm very, very excited about it. Look at this plastic, like a brown marbled handle. And then this is a plastic canvas tote that has been embroidered with various designs, like a little mushroom and a tulip, which is my favorite flower. You can't see it, but off camera here. That's uh, over there, right there. That is ravioli, Amadeus beans. Ravioli is one of my two cats, and she loves making a ruckus. So that's her making a ruckus. Now that we've cleared up the rustling, they know me so well. Has there ever been a hat that is more me than this hat is? A multicolored sequined baseball cap for keeping the sun out of my eyes. Ravioli's also gonna wear it. You're just gonna get a whole video of me making that face. Look at this beauty. It is a beautiful scarf with various cats, all looking mischievous, much like this cat. I love this so much, and I have a cat sweater that it's going to look beautiful with. You can't play with this one. Sharp little claws. Look at the pattern on this. I'm one to wear these more like this. I love a bandana around the neck. 
if I can look the most like a really excited golden retriever, that's the direction that I'm going. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see that on there? <laughs> if there's one thing that a ghoul can never have enough of it is wolf themed clothing think about the stores in the malls in the 90s at least here in the states that would sell various animal shirts and then incense and rocks and usually the plastic stars or the stickers that you stick on the ceiling. This shirt reminds me of that store. And then they would have one random wooden receptacle, a circular receptacle that had didgeridoos in them. I love a mother fluffin didgeridoo. Let me tell you what. Also, right over here, right there, that's queso s beans. She is fairly internet famous. Oh, <laughs> Ravioli has something stuck to her foot. Hold on. Hi, I'm back. This is the most beautiful brooch. This brooch is going to go so well with so many of my outfits that have a lot of primary colors in them or jewel tones. I already have so many outfit ideas to, to pair with this. I love when my mind can already start to put them together. Queso West Beans, everybody. Top dog. It's a little bow on here. I love a little bow. Queso also loves a little bow. Can you see her over here? Nothing, nothing in the entire world says summertime like a pair of multicolored, random shaped, they feel like culottes to me, CM shapes, which is appropriate because I too am shapes. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Summertime, Nick's Muse in full effect. I got this bag to put all of my summertime accoutrement. I got this sparkly hat to keep the sun out of my eyes protect my skin. I am undoubtedly going to cut this majestic tri-wolf one, two, three t-shirt into a crop top because there is nothing I love more than showing off my gut in the summertime. <laughs>
the business card. It's cute, it's square. Sharp, little teeth, vintage. In the description, you'll find both the Instagram handle and the Etsy. I'll be posting pictures of all of the different pieces that they sent me. Please go check out their Instagram account, favorite their Etsy store, check out what they have for sale and buy some stuff. Comment on their posts, like their posts. All of these seemingly small actions here with the YouTube channel, with my Instagram, with my Facebook page, with the accounts of people that I follow or I mention, links that I put in the descriptions, those little actions that seem like nothing, commenting, liking, following, sharing, they're free. These are free actions that help the algorithm pick up these accounts, share the accounts. It gets more foot traffic for everyone who's putting themselves out there to try and connect to people, or in some cases, like sharp little teeth vintage, trying to sell things, resale things, make some money, make a living. I appreciate any time that anyone gives to my channel, which is just all about being silly and talking to people and connecting to other people, or the attention provided to resale shops that I mention or podcasts that I mention. You did great. This is the best. I had the best time. Everything fits perfectly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. It was so much fun. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up the post. Comment. Ask a question. Tell me what you think about the items that I got. If you have an idea on how I can style them, put it in the comments. I will respond. I love interaction. Don't forget to share it. If you have a Facebook page and Instagram account and you want to share the YouTube channel, I would be eternally grateful. Have a great day.